Okay, guys, here is the front view and plan view of a bodega. Notice it has the sidewalk and the little step up. And then you'll notice that the front view clearly has a person in the right scale. And then here's my scale rule to show you that it goes from zero up to about 18 feet in scale. Here's my finger to show you that it's to scale. Now I'm going to take this Raisin Bran cardboard box because it's nice and smooth cardboard and I'm going to use rubber cement. You can use something else to put the white paper onto the cardboard. Okay guys, so now I have my drawing and I want to adhere it to some cardboard. If you have illustration board, that's great. And if you don't, like you saw, I, you can use a cereal box. So what you're going to do is you're going to take rubber cement or if you're really careful, you could use Elmer's glue, but you got to do a very, very thin coat so, so your paper doesn't warp. You coat, if you have rubber cement, you coat both sides and then you stick them together and I'm about to do that. And this basically is step two and then I'll show you step three. I've already coated this side. And so then you just stick it down and let it dry. Okay, so next step is to cut out. We've stuck down our picture. And if you didn't stick it down, what you did was you redrew it onto your board. Then you're going to cut it out. So as you can see, I cut this out in one piece. You don't have to. I also cut out this part and this part. Oops, see I'm going to have a repair there, which I'll talk about in the next video. But basically, you cut out everything that needs to be cut out. Window, window, window. This is a doorway. And in the next video, I'll show you what to do after that. Hi, back again. So, I cut everything out. Doesn't look like it, but when I take it apart, you'll see that I have a door. That was the hard one. I have a person that was in there. And I have my big windows that have all been cut. I'm going to save these pieces because they might be very useful for the small bits later. Okay? So we have now something that is standing up. I'm going to just put this here so you can see it a little better. Now I have to make it stand up. Now I have a drawing that's going to help me. I have a drawing of the sidewalk. This is going to sit right there and I'm going to make the sidewalk next. Okay? And I'm going to make the person stand up and I'm going to end up putting the door in there too. So I might put a little bit of a floor back there, but we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Um, the repair I was telling you about, this right here got cut off. So I simply line it up properly. Put a little piece of scotch tape on the back and maybe some glue. little dot of Elmer's glue. I hope you can see that. And then I cut the tape off. See, the tape goes bye-bye. No need for it now because I've repaired it. Now, ultimately, if I have some acetate or any kind of clear plastic, I'm going to put that on the back of these windows. So that's me thinking ahead. I'm also going to try to put as much detail on this building as I can. Okay, so in the next video, I will show you how I did the steps. Okay, so I cut my sidewalk, but I also have this area that has a height. You can see it on here. Here's the height of the first chunk, then the second chunk, then the third chunk. So I cut them all out. I make it look easy, I know, but when you do it, 
just use a really sharp blade. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, there's a part I forgot. Sharp blade. Very sharp. And be careful, please. We've got enough going on in our lives right now without getting cut. And um, then we're going to glue this on here. I'm going to glue this on here. And then we should be able to put this on here. So I'll show you that when it's done. And I believe I have to make one more step. So I'll uh, show you all that in a minute. Hey guys, so um, I have two more videos. One of them is, as you can see, I took this and I turned it into this. I added a back um, step so it'd be the same height as the top step. I added a little background there. I still have to put in the door, which you will see on the drawing. And I decided to make a second door and I'm going to actually put that one in open and have the guy standing in the doorway. I'm going to probably put uh, some kind of a floor on there because I want to. See, at this point, what you do is you take your maquette and you put as much detail as you want. I might paint the front edges of that white and I might put the awning. The awning is actually curved, so I was thinking of maybe using this somehow. So next time you see this, it'll be 100% finished, and I hope you all have fun working on your maquette. Here's the plan view, here's the front view, and the side view helps me with the awning and a couple of other things, the steps. Okay, so get to work, everybody. And here is the finished maquette of the bodega in half inch scale. As you can see, I added some details, the floor inside, little signs done with my computer, and uh, a little lighting goes a long way. So I hope you all have a good time with your maquette. The only thing this is missing is the fire hydrant.